up everybody, this is your boy C. Sims and this is That Comic Show. As you can see, I'm here in some new digs. This ain't my digs, but we here, we about to do some real good What's stuff. We about to do place? some big stuff. What we doing? What's the name of this place? What's the name of the spot right now? Yo, I ain't name it. I don't think about it. <laughs> you ain't name it? Nah. I don't want to give a name for it, but this is where we probably going to be uh, chilling for a little bit. Smooth theaters. That's what it is. Smooth? Was it smooth? Smooth theaters. Smooth theaters. Welcome to Smooth Theaters, everybody. Basically what we're going to be doing tonight for y'all is we're just going to be doing some Marvel stuff. In fact, we're going to talk about Endgame. Endgame is coming up a couple weeks? Yeah. About three weeks from now. 20, well, 20, 26th, 25th for the initiated. <laughs> 25th for the initiated. I'm just going to say that. But we here, we're going to break down some of the movies that led up to this point. Now, we're not going to go through all 20 Marvel movies. That's for another day. That's for another time. But we're going to focus on the top three Marvel movies that you should be focused on. And that is Avengers, Avengers Age of Ultron, and of course, Avengers Infinity War. But enough of me talking. Let me introduce the fellas that are around me right now. So let me start from my left, and we're going to make our way all the way across. So. What up, everybody? This is your boy Pharrell. Nine <laughs> oh, you want me to say more? I, no. I, 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 I All right, well, this is your boy Trav, also known as Deceptively Awesome. Your boy and Mano, aka I Am Legend. Sorry to cut you off. Nah, you good, you good, you good. You good, you good. Well, yeah, we all here, ready to talk about these movies. So basically we want to get you guys started, we want to get you guys set up for this movie that's dropping in a couple of weeks. And we're going to talk about the five scenes, the top five scenes in our opinion that you should be paying attention to from these last movies that came out. Now, Avengers came out in 2012, 2015 we got Age of Ultron, 2018 we got of course Infinity War. And now right off the bat, 2019, bam, we are Endgame. So that's what we're going to be doing for y'all. We're going to be talking about these scenes. We're going to be breaking it down amongst the fellas. We're going to be playing it for you guys. So if you guys forgot about these scenes, stay tuned to the actual video. We'll actually play the scenes for you so you can get reacclimated to what we're talking about here. So enough chit chat. Let's get right into it. So first movie we want to take a look at is Avengers. Well, Avengers. He doesn't have a right to say He wasn't doing that yet. He wasn't doing that yet. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the first movie that we're going to take a look at. So um, we're going to break it down. We're going to look through it. So uh, we're going to go through it with the top five scenes that we say. So the first scene that we're going to focus on is the opening scene. So before we watch it, let's discuss it. Opening scene. What we think about that opening scene? Pause. I thought he was going to watch it first. Oh, we want to watch it first and then... Okay. Watch it first and then we'll discuss it. Alright, let's watch it first. So, Maestro. And now a fool. Because I didn't see this scene before. <laughs> you ain't initiated. That's what I'm I'm already invested, yo. <laughs> That's the problem, man. So where, where do you think this movie started at? With Colson Co This part, this part I see. This <laughs> part I see too. This part right here with the helicopter. Yeah, I'm tripping. Evacuation may be futile. We should tell them to go back to sleep. 
How they said everything has to be phase two, whatever is phase two, got to be shifting, going. So, what I enjoyed about that, and I, that's why I want to pause it there. We just saw a Captain Marvel. In Captain Marvel, we see what happens with the Tesseract. I'm just thinking. And I'm, I'm trying to remember, I'm trying to see where all of it kind of connects back together. So, what do y'all think? Well, the connection, of course, is Fury. Um, at the end of Captain Marvel, we've seen that um, Fury was left with the Tesseract after Captain Marvel uh, left. Um, it is weird how Phase 2 in Avengers is about weapons, when in Captain Marvel is more about uh, space travel or traveling. It's supposed to be like a, I forgot the name of a light engine device or something like that. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. I like the connection. Okay. I think I'm watching a prequel now. <laughs> 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 Yeah, now I'm looking, looking back at it, looking I'm trying to make sure that like, everything still okay. connects the He's way it's supposed there, to. Yeah, right. And so far, it's... My only thing is where the cat is. Where's the cat? Where's, where's the cat? Where's the cat? Where's the goose? Where's the goose? Where's the goose at? I don't know. Yeah. How, he got to test the right What's the life now? expectancy, though? We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. You must have had a gut him open, though. <laughs> no, he spat it, he spat he it, spat it up. up. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, right. He spat it out. Alright, I just wanted to talk about that. Uh, the harness from space. So, again, I mean, that's one thing that didn't, it never really, it really, it didn't connect to me, it didn't make sense to me how they were able to send Loki to the other side. So, I don't know whether Thanos created a device, get a, you know, got a device created to use the Tesseract to send his people through, and if not, why wouldn't he send someone else? But, if we go back to the comics, that's, like, Loki is the first villain of the Avengers from the comic book, so it makes sense that they would use him and they would connect it to Thanos in that way. But, you know, I just thought it was, you know, like my man said, um, unanswered, really. Well, like, like Hawkeye said, it's supposed to be like a doorway of some sort, so. Yeah, yeah. The, the way I thought stars. about it was kind of like yeah, a Stargate how, type of way yeah, where how, yeah. they just have some type of alien technology that's able to. Someone would need to, to tap that, that door. To tap that power. Or unless, I don't know if that would work, if that makes any sense, but maybe the... the who, cre who created the Tesseract? Because the Tesseract is not the stone itself. The stone is... The stone is a space stone. It's a space stone. And the and Tesseract is just created a tesseract. enclosure. Yeah. So if somebody created an enclosure of it, I'm guessing that they created... They use that some sort of technology that they use for their civilization probably. Mm -hmm. all right, that this sense. is all speculation. I really have no clue, but... If yeah, you're going to enclose your space. Made, yeah, but it makes sense to do it like that. Okay. All right. Let's go. Continue. Let's go. You go. Yep.
face when I see you walk out. I think I still need that. This doesn't have to get any messy. Of course it does. I've come too far for anything else. I am Loki of Asgard, and I am burdened with glorious purpose. Loki, brother of Thor. We have no quarrel with your people. An ant has no quarrel with a boot. <laughs> you planning to step on us? I That's come with glad tidings. Of a world made free. Free from what? Freedom. Freedom is life's great lie. Once you accept that, in your heart, you will know peace. Yeah, you say peace. I kind of think you mean the other thing. Sir, direct the fury of Stalin. This place is about to blow. Drop a hundred feet of rock on us. Who means the barriers? Like the fair rolls of old. He's right. The portal is collapsing in on itself. Yes. Maybe be two minutes before this goes critical. Rubbish. Yeah, I understand. You understand? The, like the whole point of, of Loki, he's trying to use the Tesseract and he's using the Tark Stark Towers yeah. as the energy so it's the power of the Tesseract. Yeah, that's true, because they use so that So from the other technology. side, it's still like, yo, how they do that? Yeah, yeah I see. And they were trying, and they sent Loki to get the Tesseract as well. Yeah. That was the whole purpose of Loki going to Earth, was to get the Tesseract. But if they knew where the Tesseract was the entire time, why send Loki? Because then, I mean... It, why, why do Infinity do Wars now, you know what I mean? <laughs> why didn't his wait? Hey, Thanos, you be just chilling. Yeah, the way he acted in Infinity yeah. World, like he could have got these stones low but remember, they also said, <laughs> but hold on, but remember, they also said that he was waiting for, what well, is a theory saying that he was waiting for Thor's father to die, to, to start his conquest, you know? Because at the time, uh, Thor's Odin. father, Odin, he's the strongest in, in the universe right now. I don't think Thor was bothered with nobody. Thor was a boss, man. <laughs> after he got it from um, from Loki in Infinity War, mm. he didn't go to Earth after uh, after uh, Hulk got sent to Earth. He yeah, he, he, he was like, yo, there's two stones on Earth. He still sent his his boys to go get it. Yeah, he, did. he still ain't pull up. Yeah, <laughs> 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 straight there. Alright, so that was just the first scene, right? The opening scene, probably one of the best opening scenes of any Marvel movie. It, it, it pretty much brings you in and lets you know exactly what's happening. You got your villain, you got your heroes. Now you gotta assemble your team. And that's the whole point of Avengers, your team being assembled. So we're gonna look at the dynamic of that, but from a perspective of which we were hoping we didn't see, which was the team coming together but actually arguing the entire time. So we're gonna skip ahead to the scene where they're on the, the helicarrier and they're arguing against each other. So this is the team that's supposed to come and save everybody, but they're out here arguing. So let's take a look at that. Phase two is S.H.I.E.L.D. uses the cube to make weapons. Sorry, the computer was moving a little slow for me. Rogers, we gathered everything related to the Tesseract. This does not mean I'm that we're sorry, making... Nick. What were you lying? I was wrong, Director. The world hasn't changed a bit. Did you know about this? You want to think about removing yourself from this environment, Doctor? <laughs> I was in Calcutta. I was pretty well removed. Loki is manipulating you. And you've been doing what exactly? You didn't come here because I bat my eyelashes at you. Yes, and I'm not leaving because suddenly you get a little twitchy. I'd like to know why S.H.I.E.L.D. is using the Tesseract to build weapons of mass destruction. Because of him. Me. Last year, Earth had a visitor from another planet who had a grudge match that leveled a small town. We learned that not only are we not alone, but we are hopelessly, hilariously outgunned. My people want nothing but peace with your planet. But you're not the only people out there, are you? And you're not the only threat. The world's filling up with people who can't be matched. They can't be controlled. Like you controlled the cube? Your work with the Tesseract is what drew Loki to it, and his allies. It is a signal to all the realms that the Earth is ready for a higher form of war. A higher form? You forced our hand. We had to come up with a some... A nuclear deterrent. Because that always calms everything right down. 
Remind me again how you made your fortune, Stark. I'm sure if he still made weapons, Stark would be neck deep. Wait, wait, hold on. How is this now about me? I'm sorry, isn't everything? I thought humans were more evolved than this. Excuse me, did we come to your planet and blow stuff you up? Understand you treat your champions with such mistrust. Are you boys really what that naive? That Shield so monitors potential threats. Uh, Captain America's on threat warning. He's not your concern, wait, Doctor. You're on that list? Let me you let me you're above or below uh, anybody. Uh, so. Stark's a fucking guy. You make one more mind. I feel threatened. I feel threatened. You show some respect. If I need to put you down, then I will. You speak of control, yet you court chaos. This is MO, isn't it? I mean, what are we, a team? No, 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 we're a chemical mixture that makes chaos. We're, we're a time bomb. You need to step away. Why shouldn't the guy let off a little steam? You know damn well why, back off. Oh, I'm starting to want you to make me. Yeah, big man in a suit of armor. Take that off, what are you? Genius billionaire playboy philanthropist. I know guys with none of that worth 10 of you. I've seen the footage. The only thing you really fight for is yourself. You're not the guy to make the sacrifice play, to lay down on a wire and let the other guy crawl over you. I think I would just cut the wire. Always a way out. You know, you may not be a threat, but you better stop pretending to be a hero. A hero? Like you? You're a laboratory experiment, Rogers. Everything special about you came out of a bottle. Put on the suit. Let's go a few rounds. <laughs> you people are so petty and tiny. Yeah, this is a team. Agent Romanoff, would you escort Dr. Banner back to his room? Where? You rent in my room. The cell was just in, in case you needed to kill me, but you can't. I know, I tried. I got low. I didn't see an end, so I put a bullet in my mouth and the other guy spit it out. So I moved on. I focused on helping other people. I was good. Until you dragged me back into this freak show and put everyone here at risk. You want to know my secret, Agent Romanoff? You, you voted that this was another great home. scene from this movie. Here we have the team coming together, finally, yeah. and we see that their odds are tearing them apart. So, so in that scene, let's break down that scene real quick. Just the, the simple fact that you saw all of them pairing off against each other. And the camera view in the entire scene is literally swiveling around. You see all the arguments happening at the same time. I, I thought that was just brilliant. How they, how they, how they did that. You're not I love the banter between everybody. Put on the suit. Let's find out. I'm not afraid to hit an old man. Put on the suit. How like this person might be arguing with this person, but this person might say something else that offend them. While it's just, I just love the whole dialogue. And Loki's in the cell chilling. <laughs> all part of his plan. Is it so? So we discussed this prior. We thought, well, some of us said that it was due to the Mind Stone. Some of us have said that it was due to Loki uh, doing something in the background. To me, it looked like it was the Mind Stone that was playing games with them. And the one the part that I uh, pointed out was when like Tony was uh, rubbing his head or something, like he was feeling some type of wet. And even Captain America, like Captain America, is probably one of the. He he doesn't try to go after anybody. Really, even if he's upset or something like that, he never attacks anybody. In this one, he was clearly <laughs> attacking him. Really on the offensive level. Pretty much, yeah. So, again, it, it all goes back to, because I was saying that too, it was the Mind Stone. We didn't know at first, the first time we watched it, we didn't know it was the Mind Stone. But the Mind Stone is there to manipulate minds. And whoever's wielding the Mind Stone, or the Mind Stone itself, is controlling everybody. I mean, we don't want to jump ahead too much, but I'll mention it. In Infinity War, on the gauntlet, the Mind Stone takes the center of the, of the, of the spot. Yeah, it takes the center spot of the, of the uh, gauntlet. So that shows its importance throughout the entire, all the powers of the gauntlet, it shows its importance. So I think that's why they were focusing so much on the fact that you even mentioned it, how the scene was put upside down to show just how much chaos the Mind Stone can cause if the feeling is in the air. So I thought that was brilliant how they how they how they played that. For me, I like the foreshadowing to uh, to Civil War because okay. it showed how the relationships are splintered already, yeah. and they just came together. So <laughs> yeah. then in the next movie, it was like yo, like they had issues from the mm -hmm. easy jump. I mean, so when you go back to finding out, um, cool. that, what's the man name? Well, Ultron. Not Ultron. All right. Oh, no. oh, 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 Bucky, Bucky. Bucky. Yeah. When you find out that Bucky killed 
Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Iran's uh, parents, it's like, yeah, yo, I was, I was gonna that, say, was, that was only the tip of the iceberg, because they already yeah. hated each other. Well, well even yeah. that, even in the um, Civil War, they uh, explained that Tony's father always talked about Captain America over and over. It kind of yeah. made Tony kind of, uh, I guess, a little jealous. Uh, you resent, resent. Yeah, for resentful. Wow. Yeah. See, so that, that, that is what you call brilliant storytelling. And I, like that, yeah, because it's, it's literally planting seeds for what you're going to see later on. You have to wait on it. But Marvel fills you with so many different movies that while you're focusing on, all right, I got to wait for this movie to drop so I can get more information. Oh, another movie's coming right now. I got to focus on that. By the time you realize it, boom, the movie that you was waiting for is already here. So it, it's, it's literally brilliant storytelling. And they, they took the time to, to really touch on every possible outcome that you can see in these movies. And I feel like they've written so much into these movies that they could have picked any avenue to even play off yeah, of. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because Civil War wasn't really in the minds as of this point, but because mm -hmm. of how they yeah. set things up, they're like, okay, we already did the groundwork, let's mm -hmm. now just br break it down this kind of level, you know? Right. So, it's, you can't it's, be mad at that, man. Can't be mad at that at all, man. Um, there was another. There was another part of this scene that I thought was really good, and that was the opening to the scene, which was the, the conversation that Loki was having with Black Widow. Now, Black Widow, she her job is to infiltrate and pull information out. That's one of her uh, techniques. That's one of her skills. And Loki is he's supposed to be this the god of mischief. The god of mischief. So his job is to is to fool people. So it's a good dynamic to see the two of them going head to head. To see them say, all right, well. Can I, can I fool this god of mischief to give me information that I need? And you know, she was able to do that. And that whole conversation, again, it left a lot of unanswered questions yeah. because we don't know what her past was about. We see a little bit of it in the next movie that we're gonna be talking about, but it's still interesting to see how she was able to pull that information from Loki. And yeah, she was able to go from And for her to change her own, like, like, person, you know, to be mm -hmm. acting like she was scared oh, and making them yeah. think like, oh, you know, you're terrifying, you're a monster. Yeah. Like, no, you brought the monster to me. Like, okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm but acting. Loki still accomplished what he came to do, though, at the end of the day. He did. He did. He, he did. did. He got the monster out. Yeah. He got the team to separate. Yeah, at the end of that scene, I mean, we're not, I don't, yeah, I don't think we're going to watch, well, man, it's up to y'all. You don't want to watch the rest of it and get to that end where they all go their separate ways, literally. Or, I mean, yeah, I think. Alright, yeah. <laughs> right. so the next one. Yeah, so the next scene that we want to talk about and we want to focus on, honestly, is um, if I'm being honest, it's the fight scene. It's the, it's yeah, the New York it's fight, scene. It's fight scene. Let's get fight scene. Alright, so let's go right into it. New York fight scene. So while we yeah. while we're gearing it up, um, let me just give y'all some background to that. So uh, Loki pretty much gets everything that he wants. Uh, Selvig. Uh, figures out how to use the Tesseract to open up a portal to space. Thanos sends his crew, if you if you saw Infinity War, which you should have saw Infinity War, we saw exactly what that crew does. It destroys the area, it separates the population into 50-50, and it kills half the population. That's what he does, and that's what his plan was to do on Earth. Can you imagine that would have happened on Earth? And it's kind of like Loki did that too when he first came. Like, Loki knew that was, he, he had to have known that was going to happen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it, it's... You know, Marvel, every, everything is full circle. So we see the fight that should not have happened, but it did happen because the Avengers finally came together. And that's probably what got Thanos' attention. And that's what got Thanos' attention. That's where, yeah, that's where, that's where the really starts. You see right here. He's like, what the hell? I don't see how that's a party. Greatest scene, scene in, in, in like movie, movie cinema movie. history, yeah. right here, yo. That's my secret, Cat. Look at this. I'm they slowed it down just enough to that. That was oh, that was beautiful. Look at that. I can watch that. I can watch that a million times, you know. How the whole thing splits and breaks into the That's a lot of power right there, you That punch. This is what it was all about, you know? Those 
four years of watching those movies to see this scene right here. This scene right here made it. The movie could have ended right there, and I'd have been all right. Credits rolling. Yo, I'd have been all right. I don't need to see the rest of the movie. Now here. This is the part. All right, now this is what it gets like. All right. Guys. This, this, this is one of the big things. All right, listen up. Until we can close that portal on priorities containment. Barton, I want you on that roof. Eyes on everything. Call out patterns and strays. Stark, you got the perimeter. Anything gets more than three blocks out, you turn it back or you turn it to ash. You want to give me a lift? Right. Better clench up like a boss. Thor, you got to try and bottleneck that portal. Slow him down. You got the light? Hey, I love it. Light the bastards up. I love that. That was loose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. all of them. By the time we get to Winter Soldier, well, he's damn near like that. Yeah, yeah. 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 this one, he's like, he's a police cop. During the trap, this is right here, yo. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the surf. Yo, uh, uh, go. Uh, go. Uh, go. Uh, go. 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 Hey, what you playing, man? Get out of here. You know, like, what's on block the shot in basketball? Y'all like, never want somebody to block my shot. <laughs> you doing that, I'm gonna give it up. Never play basketball again. Oh, that's Yo, did it, yo. Did it. I remember being in the movies watching this and I was watching this and like, yo, yeah, what's, what's happening next? What's happening next? All right, so that was the fight scene. Uh, to begin all fight scenes. I mean, Marvel has been setting this up for years prior to this, and um, to see it all come to fruition, to see all the characters come together, fighting together. I remember playing video games, watching cartoons of the same thing and seeing it on the big screen. That was just, it, it was awe-inspiring to see that. Um, before we start breaking that down and just going into that real quick, I just want to throw this out there because I was, I was reading some stuff this week. You said the Mind Stone, right? So, the Mind Stone was a pinnacle part of this entire story. A lot of the actions that were made, a lot of the decisions that were made by Loki, by the Avengers, was all part of the Mind Stone. We, we agree to that? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, one thing that they said is that Thanos gave Loki the Mind Stone. So, that means Thanos had the Mind Stone for a long time. So, how much of the Mind Stone was manipulating Thanos to do what he was eventually going to do, which was to collect all the stones and snap away half the universe. I don't think the Mind Stones was controlling Thanos at all. Because yeah, this is always what Thanos yeah, wanted that to do. Like, that was, yeah, that was his resolve. Yeah, yeah, imagine the Infinity War. He was going from planet to planet. Yeah, yeah. He just got tired of it. He's yeah. like, yeah, too stones. Much. Yeah. Okay, that's a good point. Now, so, do we think do we think each stone is, is is like an individual itself, or do we think they work as a collective? Well, because after know. watching Infinity War, how uh, was it? Resco was talking about how the stones or something told me I had to do this. The soul stone the, has, the soul stone. has a special place. But he was transferred there by the tesseract. By the tesseract. So are, mm -hmm. are they like working in? Just from your theory here, is it just a mind stone, or is it all the stones put together just? acting as one say. Well, if, if we look at in, in Infinity War, when uh, Wong was, was talking about it, was telling it to, to Tony, he was like, in the beginning there was uh, Singularity and then bam, Six Stones was created. So they were all so, created at the same time. Okay. So I think in a way, they all, they're like, I guess they're like distant relatives or they're like siblings, but they're, they're all distant. So they can still, they still work together, but they work together from a distance, but when they're together, like collectively, they're much stronger because all the powers is like yeah, they like feed off of each other. They feed off each other, yeah. yeah. So I think that's that's yeah. why he made the goal. Yeah, in Infinity War, remember when he used the reality stone, he also used the power stone at the same time to the power stone gave the reality stone more power. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's I think they all just work together. Exactly. So that fight scene, um, hands down, one of my favorite parts was was clearly the Hulk's. Every time the Hulk was shown, it just showed how how crazy his power is, how berserk he gets, like, he pulling monsters from the draw out of the sky, like, he's going crazy, I loved it, I, I did like it. how that uh, scene set up as uh, Cap the leader, when Tony's like, hey Cap, call it, and mm -hmm. then you see Cap give the rundown because of his war training, I guess, right, right, just saying, hey, you do this, you do this, that was pretty dope, I like that. for me, it reminded me of an Infinity War, watching this over, that's why I asked the question earlier. I'm like, yo, where does, how does this compare to Infinity War? Because when I watched this, the same way I felt watching Infinity War, like the 
execution with this, the camera work, everything was like perfect. Like the fight scene of this compares to Infinity War with Doctor Strange and Iron Man. Yeah. And both of them joints are tough. Yeah. Now, I mean, so if you look at how far apart the movies are for this to be that serious, mm -hmm. that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Look at it like that. Yeah, I, I, I would agree, man. Just watching this over is just. It brings back all the good memories, man. It brings back, like, just how much storytelling went into this and how intricate everything was. And, like, like some Marvel movies I could watch again, but I don't get that same feeling that I get watching this. But like, not, yeah, for a long time. This, yeah. this, is, this is an actual event. It's like with the right. comics. It's uh, when they all came together, everybody was like, oh, okay. But that's what this, this is. That's how... Uh, this is one of those movies that stand the test of time, like. Right, that's always true. you have that same initial feeling when you had the first oh, thing. No, we gotta wait to 20 years later. Cause you guys was going on Golden Child just as well. <laughs> 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 I just mentioned it. I'm just saying, you said, yo, the graphics. Yo, <laughs> <laughs> the graphics was horrible. Can we back and say these graphics are like, oh, these graphics are terrible. Nah, look at back. What's the back here? I doubt it. Yeah, wait, 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 to 20, that. wait to 20 years later. Like, like you said, like 40 years ago, yeah, yeah. right? Like, why ain't nothing getting better than this? When Star Wars first came out. You never know. That's true. So the last scene we're gonna we're gonna take a look at in this movie is the scene where we actually see the villain. Um, the guy pulling the strings, the guy, the puppet master, uh, Thanos. I mean, for a lot of us seeing that guy for the first time, maybe we didn't know who it was. It was like, mm, I don't know Nobody knew who, who this guy is. <laughs> like a purple dude is up there in space. But once you started to do the research and you started to go into the comics, you start to notice that, okay, this is the villain of the Avengers. This is the villain of the Marvel Universe. So, uh, this is what we want to do. We promise. They stand. They are unruly and therefore cannot. Now, was this Ebony Mom? Yeah. That was the. the I think his name is Mother. Yeah. Because he, he dies in. Um, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. To challenge them. Is a court death. It's a challenge. Yeah. Now, how much of a thought so death was going to be, what his purpose was, I, but I, how they flipped it on us. I thought that. I thought we was going to see. I thought we was going to see death. I thought we was going to see Lady Death in this. In, in the next movie, I thought it was going to be. All right, so that's what we're going with. The biggest surprise was Thanos wasn't in the next Avengers movie when everybody thought yeah. that <laughs> he would be. It was bad again. This honestly, this just makes him bigger as a character. To me. True, definitely. Because it's like, yo, they just lost a battle. I'm still not pulling up. <laughs> I, I got time to chill. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's so true. Yeah, yeah. That's so true. They made Thanos feel like, yeah, ah, what that mean? Oh, y'all, y'all beat them. I'll beat my I'm gonna tell him to hold on my stuff for a while. And, <laughs> and, 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 in, the, him as and in the process, he loses an infinity stone. Too. Yeah. And, and he's, he's still not worried. Like, not not worried. worried. All part of his plan. That's insane, man. That's insane. So um, yeah, so that was the first uh, Avengers movie, obviously. Uh, if you haven't seen this movie, which I don't understand, you might be seven watching this, so you, the movie wasn't out when you were born. That's cool. Yeah. But um at the end of the day, this movie, the Avengers movie, was Marvel literally planting their flag to say, "We are the genre, we are the we are the studio. This is what you came to see, and it has conditioned us to stay after every movie, watch every credit, watch every speculation to lead up to this point, which is Endgame. So, uh, yeah, man. So for fellas, we uh, yeah, we're gonna sign off real quick. We're gonna come back. We're gonna do. The next Avengers movie, which will be Ultron. 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 Ultron.